Holiday Land is the first Screen Gems short that I have seen. This was actually the first in their Colour Rhapsody series and features Scrappy, who is one of their recurring characters. The reason this came to my attention is because I'm trying to watch every Best Animated Short Oscar nominee. This was nominated in the year 1934 and it didn't win. Uh, the only Walt Disney to be nominated that year actually won. And there was also a Walter Lance Universal film as well, which actually would have been my choice. I have discussed the other two separately. Holiday Land is a lot of fun. Now, I had no expectations because I wasn't really familiar at all with Scrappy as a character. I, I mean, it says it's the first in the Colour Rhapsody series, but I hadn't seen anything else that came after this. Wasn't really aware of the early works of Scream Gems. So... I didn't have any expectations, but I was pretty satisfied with it. It's quite fun. Scrappy wakes up one morning and he doesn't want to go to school. I don't know how old he is. He looks like a baby. He really looks like a, a, a very quite young baby toddler. But his behaviours and thought processes and speech definitely are that of an older child. So if anybody knows how old he is meant to be, feel free to let me know. But I do really adore his animation style, if it's, you know, even though it's confusing. And he wakes up and realises he doesn't want to get out of bed to go to school. He wants it to be a holiday, so he wishes it was a holiday. And goes back into dreamland where all of the holidays come to life together. We have Santa Claus, Easter Bunny, we have a turkey to represent Thanksgiving. There is a witch there for Halloween. And all of these holidays interact with one another and, of course, interact with Scrappy, who explores these little holidays. And the people in the holidays are a lot smaller than him. So it's kind of like like he's playing with toys, but they're alive and, you know, real in his imagination. And there's just something very fun about the different holidays interacting and being you know, represented in the same space and in dreamland. And I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Um... I won't say exactly what happens at the end, just in case you kind of want to watch it and see how it concludes itself. I'm not sure what message they were trying to give at the very end of it. I don't think it's the most um, child-appropriate ending. I feel like it's giving the wrong message, insofar as saying there are more important things in school. I'm not sure, but that's what I perceived the ending to be. Maybe as a child I would have not even thought about what it meant. But I, I still thoroughly enjoyed it. It was directed by Sid Marcus, um, music by Joe Donat, and I really enjoyed the music in this. The animation style is beautiful. The Technicolor color process is a lot of fun to watch. Uh, it was just distributed by Columbia. And honestly, I don't think it should have won. It didn't win its category. But I can see why it was a worthy nominee. It's pretty fun. As my introduction to Scrappy, I, I'm quite happy with it and keen to see what else Scrappy has to offer. I don't yet fully grasp the style of Screen Gems or what they're trying to do with this series. I need to watch more of it to kind of be able to say, yes, I can confidently, confidently, confidently talk, apparently not, confidently talk about the Colour Rhapsody series. If you can recommend any shorts from the series, feel free to. But as an introduction, Holiday Land is pretty special.